New York, officially known as the state of New York, is a state in the northeastern United States. With 8.4 million residents, New York is the most populous city in America and things are bound to happen. However, relative to its size, New York City is considered one of the top five safest large cities in America. Are you thinking about moving to New York City? There's no adequate way to describe the way living in New York City feels. The Big Apple casts both shadows and spells and your experience will depend entirely on you. But there's no denying that living in New York City is an extraordinary feat, any way you slice it. The city tempts people in hordes and millions of residents are willing to overlook the inevitable cons of life in NYC because the pros are too hard to resist. Living in New York City Delia Efron said, New Yorkers are born all over the country, and then they come to New York City and it hits them. Oh, that's who I am. Quat. The pros of living in New York City is, truly, the land of opportunity Q. If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. Quat. New York City is where dreamers go to make their dreams come true. In my experience, this is true in two ways. If you're an entrepreneur, way to go, you, there's no better place than New York City to try and make it big. The opportunities and networking connections you can make while living in New York City are hard to beat. Career-wise, New York City has the biggest names in tech, marketing, apparel, journalism, sports, you name it. So if you can't follow your dreams, yet, there's definitely a job for you. But I highly suggest having a gig lined up before moving to NYC otherwise you won't be setting yourself up for success. New York City is home to 65 Fortune 500 companies, the second highest concentration of Fortune 500 companies in the world, outside of Tokyo. In terms of finding a job in New York City, you need to be keenly aware of finding a gig that works well with your lifestyle. Because one thing you'll quickly learn after moving to New York City is that you will need to hustle hard and that means long hours at the office. With a population of 8.4 million, competition is fierce. Securing a job and keeping it will require more effort than it does in smaller cities, which is why New Yorkers are often considered workaholics. I'll cover this in more detail below. But at the end of the day, one thing is certain. If you're passionate enough to move to New York City then chances are good you'll find a way to make it work, one way or another. This is the city of dreamers in time and again it's the place where the greatest dream of all, the American dream, has been tested and has triumphed. New York City is a safe place to live it may surprise you to learn that living in New York City is not unsafe, as most folks assume. It's hard to blame anyone for thinking that life in New York City could be dangerous. With 8.4 million residents, NYC is the most populous city in America and things are bound to happen. However, relative to its size, New York City is considered one of the top five safest large cities in America. After living in New York City for eight plus years, I can honestly say I've never felt unsafe in the city and that's mostly because I've never really been alone on the streets. There's so many folks exploring the city at any given hour that you're seldom alone. You just have to know which main streets to stick to and which areas to avoid. For instance, I don't walk through Central Park after dark. Instead, I stick to the main streets where eager tourists and locals alike meander through the city streets while returning home from late night meals or libations. There's powers in numbers. I currently live in Manhattan and understand that busy streets are not as common in the other boroughs, so make sure to do deep research on the area you plan to move to NYC. If you're seriously considering moving to New York City, I suggest reading. Don't move to New York City without knowing these 20 crucial things first. Exposure to the arts and history New York City is often described as the cultural capital of the world, and I'd be damned if I didn't confess that this is quite possibly my favorite thing about living in New York City. New York City is home to a whopping 83 museums, including the fifth largest museum in the world, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, colloquially known as the Met. NYC is also home to one of the most gorgeous libraries in the world, the New York Public Library, which is also the third largest library in the world. If history is more your thing, why not visit the birthplace of Theodore Roosevelt, grab a drink at the bar where George Washington bid an emotional farewell to his troops or check out Alexander Hamilton's final resting place. The point is, you'll be hard-pressed to find a more culturally exciting city than New York. New York City is diverse it's probably no surprise that with more than 200 plus languages spoken on a daily basis, the habits, food and dress reflect the vibrant diversity of life in New York City. In fact, New York City is the most diverse city in the country. As a result, no matter what you do, you will always fit in. In many ways, it feels like there's zero judgment while living in New York City. There's, always, something to do when you live in New York City, it's hard to justify staying home because there's always something going on. Whether it's a new exhibit at a museum, a famous musician playing at the Blue Note, sunset yoga in Central Park or a five-course meal at a Michelin star restaurant, you'll never have a reason to be bored while living in New York City. Even random walks sometimes end on a magical note. Thank you for staying with us for so long, see you next time with some interesting travel story.